Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the Slack helper in super easy and super simple steps. So let's dive in and see how we can do it. For the Mac OS users actually, those that like use the Slack on Mac computers are seem to be facing a pop-up from the years actually, and they see a pop-up called an update is ready to install. Slack is trying to add a new helper tool throughout their like normal usage days. That error doesn't seem to happen on the Android, iOS or Windows, but if you are a Mac user that's like trying to solve this issue, we will show you how that works and how you can actually make sure that like doesn't happen anymore and how you can get rid of it. The pop-up shows the username and asks to enter the Mac password and when the user enters the password and tap on add helper, the pop-up goes away but it seems to return after they restart the app. The issue is actually for the Mac users who install the app from the website. So thankfully we have a way to actually get rid of it. And the first one is changing the app owner. To actually change the app owner, trying to add like a new helper tool, it actually helps and it stops it actually from like generally doing it again. So for that, you need to open the terminal on your Mac. You can open the terminal by doing a spotlight search or find it in others folder of the launchpad like this as you see on the screen right now. And from here you need to type the command we're like generally blacking out right now and hit enter. After running the command if you see the root as owner the app is owned by the root and to change the app ownership type the below command and enter this one then like here like this and the of course dollar sign user should automatically be replaced with your username if it doesn't then replace it with your computer username once you follow like generally this the ownership should change and you should not see the of course slack is trying to add a new helper tool pop up anymore if that doesn't work as well you can always just like uninstall and then install the mac app from like the general mac os store and this seems to like generally solve the issue as well. But like we said, this is generally how you do it. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys. In any other case, I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.